Hey everyone, today we're going to be making an icebox cake, so let's get started. Now, um, all I have here is just some cookie thins right here, which um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it kind of looks like this. They're just cookie thins. You could find them in most grocery stores, I think. If not, you could really use any thin cookie you want. Uh, it, the, just this is kind of like a traditional one. Um, other than that, we have some powdered sugar right here, some vanilla right here, and then some espresso powder. And then this is just like to garnish, just for it to look cute. So um, it's really easy, just a few ingredients. I'll put it in the description box, so let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, oh, did I forget to mention the cream? You need cream. <laughs> Very important. This is <laughs> like the second most important ingredient. <laughs> so we're just going to whip cream. That's all it is. Make sure your cream is cold and make sure your bowl is cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip this really quick. Then I'm going to add some powdered sugar to sweeten it and some vanilla for flavoring. And I might do espresso, uh, but we'll see about that. And then um, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so about at this point, I'm just going to add some powdered sugar. And that's just because um, I want it to be sweet. I don't want it to just be cream. So some powdered sugar. And some, this is just some vanilla bean paste. If I could get it out, this is always a hassle. Okay, so just some vanilla bean paste and some powdered sugar for now. And I'm still debating if I should espresso powder to this, but we'll see. Okay, I think that's about good. We have cream. So, let me just show you the texture. It just looks like cream. So, this is what it should be. Now, you could just whip the cream until soft peaks, but I prefer to do it uh, until it's actual cream. Just make sure you stop before it turns into butter. You don't want a butter cake. Um, now, there's two ways you could do this. You could just pile it up traditionally on a plate. Or you could put it in maybe like a spring form pan, which I have a little heart here. Uh, so you could do either. I'm going to do both just to show you. These are, these are the cookie thins we're using. It's just chocolate and it has um, like sugar on it. They don't usually come with sugar. If you have a, like a Trader Joe's around you, um, Trader Joe's carry these in different flavors. So what you traditionally do, you like a flower, place one in the middle, and like that. So the next step is our cream. So you just put the cream. This part takes a little bit of effort, but you just kind of press it along. and you push it to touch each cookie. Next step after that, same thing, one in the middle. And then what you wanna do is alternate. So put um, the flour like, uh, the first one is a flower shape, the second one is a flower shape, but you're going to put the cookie in between the space of the previous two cookies. So that's what I'm doing. I feel like we could fit one more here. Should we go for it? We should go for it. Okay, and then it's just the same process over and over again.
So yeah, just uh, grab a chocolate bar of your favorite variety and just um, shave it on top with a microplane. So that's one. And you could do this virtually in any um, any container. This is a springform pan, very small, I know. But let me zoom you in. So I'm just going to put some cream in there. I'm just gonna start this one off with some cream and I'm gonna fit the cookies in again. Now, if you don't have a springform pan, you can do this still. I would just suggest lining the bottom with like a plastic, uh, plastic saran wrap and just until it comes out to the edges so you could just lift it up. I don't need to do that with my um, springform pan because I could just remove it and it should come out um, really nice. And the cute thing about this, I know it's not Valentine's Day or anything, but um, you can make this a day before, so it's like a no-hassle dessert. Or you can make this for a dinner date. Very cute idea. It's kind of like cookies and cream. Actually, that's exactly what it looks like. Okay, so these are icebox cakes. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to just stick these in the freezer, uh, wait until they harden, and then I'll take them out and show you what they look like. What I'm going to do, I'll show you that later. I'll cut through this one first. Can you see it? Okay. So, I should have brought a plate to put this in. One okay. second. So, um... Let me see how I'm going to do this. Uh. I know you guys. I put it on a very small plate. <laughs> but that's fine. I just wanted to show you the layers, you can see the cookie right there, it goes all the way through. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so you see the cookie running all the way through. Um, my plate isn't that practical, but how can it not taste good? It's cookies and cream, right? That's the inside. Note to self, grab a bigger plate next time. Mm. It's really, really good. Um, to tell you the truth, you could even use Oreo halves and do this and it'll be like a cookies and cream, but like a nicer way of presenting it. Okay, so here we have the heart and I just have some melted chocolate I'm gonna garnish it with. Uh, I just took it out of the freezer. It's been in there for uh, an entire day. So I'm just gonna use a knife to go around. Um, well, this is a spring form pan, but I'm just gonna use a knife to go around just to be on the safe side. So you can put like a plastic in here, uh, like saran wrap or something, and then fill it up so that it'll just be easier to take out. But um, 
Mine is really, really small, so I, I really won't have a problem doing that. But if you use like a regular size for cheesecake or something, you definitely want to go ahead and do that. Dun dun dun. The unmolding. What I'm gonna do is I don't know I'll do a little bit of this I really like the chocolate on top so maybe we'll just do that it just wants the blob fine we'll do we'll do that then Blobs of chocolate, you guys. Blobs of chocolate. Okay. Now, when you leave the uh, when you leave this in the fridge for a couple of hours, what's gonna happen are the cookies are gonna soften and the cream is going to um, harden a little bit, so it's it's gonna become kind of like an ice cream cake. Let me just cut. I wouldn't cut it like this normally, but I just want to show you guys. So you see that? Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to... Well, I'm going to try it. Because it's really important to use like a cookie that you like. If you don't like the cookie, I mean, there's only a few ingredients on there and I know that's a lot of chocolate, but I'm not gonna eat it, so don't worry. But um, uh, you should like the ingredients you use because if you don't, I mean, your whole dish is going to taste like this, so. I'm destroying it for you guys, I know. I'm telling you, you have to try this. Cookies, cream, and melted chocolate. That is all. I'll actually post a bunch of variations of this. I mean, it's really easy, right? It's cookies, and, uh, it's cookies, and it's whipped cream. But I mean, there's so many ways of presenting this. So many different flavors you could work with. And like I said, it's easy. It's quick, quick, quick. <laughs> it's easy, quick, simple, delicious. And you could basically form it into hearts. You could do it the night of, the day before, three hours before. It doesn't matter. Go ahead, try it, and then the recipe will be in the description box. Um, please like and subscribe to my page. I post videos like this all the time.